Good morning, everyone. My name is Hosna Jabbari, and I'm from University of Alberta. I'm going to walk you through um, my poster and give you a taste of my work in um, a bioinformatic framework for um, prediction of a skipping, exon skipping efficacy for a Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is um, a lethal genetic disorder um, that is seen in one out of every 3,500 boys. Um, the characteristics of DMD include um, progressive muscle deterioration, uh, a skeletal muscle deterioration, resulting in developed um, milestones. And um, the average life expectancy for the majority of patients is about 25 years. Um, DMD is caused by mutations in the DMD genes and is caused, uh, that causes the lack of um, dystrophin production. DMD gene is our longest gene, um, has 79 exons that fit together like pieces of a puzzle. There are, um, deletion mutations are the most common mutations of the DMD. And um, the two shown here are two examples of deletion mutations that involve exon 52. In the first one, when exon 52 is deleted in a patient, the exons do not fit together anymore, so the patient is unable to produce the dystrophin protein and develops the severe DMD phenotypes. In contrast, if exon 51 and 52 are deleted together, it's called in-frame mutation. The patient is capable of producing truncated but still functional dystrophin protein and has a very mild um, phenotypes. Exon-mediated um, skipping uses this phenomenon in a therapy to convert the severe DMD phenotypes to mild, milder types. Antisense oligos are short synthetic um, oligonucleotides that target, the, that target the specific exons. On the right are two commonly used antisense chemistries in clinical trials. In this um, talk and in my poster, we focus on the morpholinos. Antisense oligos are supposed to target the exon very selectively and be very specific. However, in most studies um, to date, we see that they are only using a, select, um, a pre selected um, oligos and they're testing them in vitro to see if they are a good match for the exon or not. It is our goal to um, use computational framework to help with the guidance of this pre-selection criteria. Uh, in 2015, a group um, by my supervisor, Dr. Yokota, showed that computational frameworks are cheap and capable of prediction, good predicting of the exon skipping for the shin muscular dystrophy. Zooming in, you can see that the predicted squares um, are the small ones. The 30 mer oligos are shown in blue and 25 mers in red. Small squares are the predicted and the larger squares are the observed data. You can see that there is a correlation between um, prediction and the observed data. However, this study, as any other studies, has its own shortcoming. Uh, for example, the software they use to find the binding energy of the oligos to exon is um, M-fold, which is not capable of predicting the binding energies of um, most complicated types that involve pseudonotative structures. They also shortened the sequences to 150 bases and focused on the correlation of um, um, skipping the features with the skipping efficacy versus their predictive values. We aim to alleviate these um, shortcomings. We recently developed a novel algorithm that considers the um, original structure of um, ol oligo shown in here is a 30 mer morpholino and the exon shown in here is exon 51 and flanking, flanking sequences before interaction. And then uh, the exon sequence is shown in blue and then um, how their the structure will change after they interact together to form um, the binding. Zooming in, you can see that the structure of the exon changed to uh, accommodate 
binding to oligo. Oligo is shown um, in yellow bases on the right. The algorithm we developed has um, a new energy model for um, the different chemistries used for oligos and assigns energies accordingly. We should note that this algorithm is not disease or genus specific. So um, if we have a different chemistry, we can definitely use this algorithm as well with a change of the energy model and it can be used for different diseases. We are planning to incorporate our results with all the known um, data on exon skipping for the shen muscular dystrophy to identify the most influential variables for exon skipping. We note again that we are aiming for most influential, most influential not um, the most correlated, we mean most predictive ones, and we want to um, provide the community with a predictable tool. So we are going to test our results in vitro and in vivo, and we are aiming to have the web server ready for the community to use by the end of 2016. Thank you, everyone.